Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Now we will be looking at the FP growth algorithm for finding, the, for finding the frequent item sets So initially like the priori algorithm we will be given a data set So here is the data set which we have considered for the priori algorithm as well The data set is D and it has 9 transactions from 1 to 9 and each transaction is using items from i1 to i5 so now we will be generating we will be using the fp growth algorithm for finding the frequent item sets for this for this data set so in fp growth algorithm first we will be calculating the frequencies frequencies for each item i1 i2 i3 i4 and i5 so the frequencies of each item are given as 6, 7, 6 to based on the data set these frequencies are to be find out and then we are giving the priority to each of the items based on these frequencies meaning the frequent the item set which has the highest frequency will have the least priority mean, meaning the highest priority least priority number sorry so i2 is of the highest priority so it is numbered as 1 then followed by i1 that is 2 i3 3 i4 4 and i5 5 now be based on these priorities we have to order the items of each transaction previously the order of the transaction was like so, say i1 i2 and i5 but now as i2 is of the highest priority we are arranging we are ordering all the items based on the priority so again the order will be i2 i1 and i5 again i2 will be first so i2 i4 i2 i3 and so on the whole data set is to be ordered based on the priority of each of the items now this is the ordered items and we have arranged all the items based on the priority now based on this data set which we have generated now we need to create an nfp tree for this data set so the first item is i2 i1 and i5 so now we are going going to add these items to a tree the initial root node will for the for this fp tree will be null and then we, we are going to add the elements to each of this to this tree so i2 is being added and with with each of these elements we'll be naming them we'll be marking the count count of the items which have appeared in the transaction so first the i2 count is 1 i1 count is 1 and i5 count is 1 then the next transaction has the items i2 and i4 i2 and i4 here so we are going to add these items to the fp tree but instead of adding the i2 again to the root node we are just incrementing the count of i2 which indicates that this i2 item has appeared in two transactions till now and then as i4 is different from i1 so we are creating another child node for this i2 node so i4 is created with one as label meaning one count next transactions are i2 and i3 so again we are incrementing the count of i2 as 3 and then we are adding another child to i3 as i2 as i3 next we have items i2 i1 and i4 so we are again incrementing the count of i2 to 4 and also incrementing the count of i1 to 2 because the sequence is i2 i1 and i4 so we are going from i2 to i1 and then we are creating a new child for i1 as i4 see here we are not increasing in increasing the count of i4 as 2 because this i4 is the child of i2 but the sequence which we have is i2 i1 and then i4 so we are going from i2 to i1 then again from i1 we are creating a new node that is i4 now similarly for i1 i3 we are again see now i1 is the first item in the data set so again we are creating a new node from the null node as i1 and then i4 i3 sorry so like this we have to construct the whole tree so the tree looks something like that like this so this is the final tree with uh, all the labels for each of the items now we have to mine the frequent patterns unlike the a priori algorithm in fp growth algorithm we will be having uh, we, we don't need to generate all the possible combinations for for each of the items here we will be selecting a particular item and based on this item 
we'll be generating the frequent patterns now we'll be doing that as follows first we are selecting the i5 node now we'll be looking for all the paths from where we can reach to the i5 node so i5 is reachable from i2 i1 and i3 this is one path and then i2 i1 and i5 this is another path so we are writing those paths here i2 i1 and i5 with a count of 1 and i2 i1 i3 and i5 with a count of 1 now from these two paths we have the similar suffix similar prefixes as i2 and i1 i2 i1 as 1 and i2 i1 as 1 from this so the count of i2 i1 becomes 2 because it is repeating twice in the pattern generation so i2 i1 has count 2 which is greater than or equals to the minimum support 2 so now based on this we are generating a conditional fp tree which means if you are selecting a node i5 then this is the conditional fp tree for the frequent pattern first is the null node then i2 which which has the count 2 and i1 which has the count 2 this is the pattern for reaching the node i5 and the frequent patterns combination will be i2 i5 2 i1 i5 2 and i2 i1 i5 as 2 so this is the frequent pattern combination if you select the node as i5 now if you if you are selecting the node i4 then for i4 also we are having two paths one is from i2 directly and another is from i2 i1 and then i4 so we are writing these two paths i2 i1 which has count 1 and i2 which is having count 1 yes i2 is having count 1 because here i4 is having count 1 and to reach this one count of i4 we are using this root so that is why here i2 is 1 now from these two sets we have i2 in common and the count of i2 becomes 2 so i2 is now count the count of i2 is 2 which is greater than or equal to the minimum support that is 2 now the frequent patterns generated is i2 i4 2 now again we need to create a conditional fp tree for this that will be no, null and i2 2 now, for each of the node which we are considering for the frequent patterns we need to create a conditional fp tree Th this conditional fp tree is different for every node because it is considered because it is generated only after considering a particular node as the base node now again we are considering i3 as the base node so for i3 as the base node again we have three paths for i3 this is that is one is directly from i1 that is uh, another from i2 and then i2 i1 and i3 so we have three paths for i3 we are writing down all those three paths i2 i1 and count 2 i2 with a count 2 and i1 with a count 2 now from these patterns again we have to identify which of the paths which are common now here from these two paths we have i2 here i2 is repeated twice and i2 has count 2 here so that 2 and 2 will become count as 4 for i2 and i1 count will be 2 only because i1 is not repeating here and we are not considering this i1 with this set because to reach i1 first we have to visit i2 only then we can reach i1 so that is why we are considering this set with this set only we are not considering this set for this one so using these two sets we are again generating i2 as 4 and i1 as 2 so the count of i4 i2 as 2 and i1 as 2 and then here this is a single path that is from i1 and that is 2 now frequent patterns generated using these two combinations are i2 i3 i1 i3 and i2 i1 i3 which is which has count 2 now the conditional fp tree for this node i3 will be like this null i2 4 i1 2 and i1 2 now again similarly for the node i1 i1 has only one path that is via i2 4 and the frequent pattern for this is i2 comma i1 4 and the conditional fp tree for that is this now after uh, doing all this now we need to create a table which gives as information about all the items all the frequent items which are generated based on the items which are selected so first if you are selecting the item 5 i5 then this will be the conditional pattern base for that and the conditional pattern 
कंडीशनल एफ पी ट्री विल हैव दीज नोट्स बिकॉज ओनली दीज नोट्स आर सेटिस्फाइंग द मिनिमम सपोर्ट काउंट एंड द पैटर्न फ्रीक्वेंट पैटर्न जनरेटेड आर दीज एंड इफ यू आर सेलेक्टिंग अ नोट आई फोर देन वी हैव दिस एज द कंडीशनल पैटर्न बेस एंड दिस इज द कंडीशनल एफ पी ट्री नोट बिकॉज आई फोर इज सेटिस्फाइड बाई ओनली आई टू विच हैज सपोर्ट काउंट टू एंड देन दिस इज द फ्रीक्वेंट पैटर्न जनरेटेड फॉर आई टू एंड सॉरी आई फोर and this is for i3 similarly for i1 and we are not going for i2 because i2 is the direct uh, if you, if you remove i2 from the tree meaning if you remove i2 from the tree then there will be there will, there is no path to reach i2 so we are not considering i2 in that table assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh